fan, huh? Yeah, not the fire, but everything else, yeah. Schedule stop, huh? Yeah, uh, pretty much a uh, schedule stop. We were doing well up until that point. Uh, after the problems in the first race, we started at the back, and I think we had made up about five positions already. Uh, one of our tires was going our black, slightly late, flat spotted it. So we thought we'd put early, slightly earlier, about two laps earlier, uh, let Chris get out there and then uh, see what happens. You still got some pace on, man. I got a bit of pace, but uh, on about the second corner, I hooked the wrong gear and I just I, I lost it. Came back there and I thought I'd keep the boys behind me. And uh, one of the super who's got a bit cocky and touched me on the rear wheel. <laughs> He's just lucky I wasn't closer to him uh, later on. But I enjoyed it. I only started really getting into pace afterwards. You know, the, the rear section in, in fourth gear, in fifth gear, and, uh, the last three laps I was going through there is so basically full throttle. I wasn't doing that before, I was just getting into things and uh, I had to stop, I was starting to enjoy it. Now I had to stop, you know, how bad is that? Simon Moss out there with no lights on, but you can see after an hour and a half, the lights are now fully ablaze and things are starting to heat up. Well, there's many ways you can approach this insurance race. Uh, let's go back into the pits right now and find out what's going on. Yeah, going well. Uh, we had an incident in the beginning, uh, Jerry got tapped by one of the Subarus, set us back a little bit, but uh, yeah, we went down, we did a, did a good stint. Schedule stopped, so uh, we'll see how it goes from here. Oh, looks good in both sprint format and endurance format. Yeah, I know. We, we, we really focused on the endurance setup. Uh, hopefully, we can just do the schedule three stops without any more and take it to the end. Check out difficult is on board here with one of the BMWs, but in the pit is Donker and Dermany. Whole nother ball game out there. Definitely, yes. Not too many laps in the car before, and now I had to drive it in the dark. Pretty hectic, eh? Very hectic, but the Ford Focus ST is an awesome motor car. Great fun, kept it on the road. A few times a little bit wide out of the corners because you can't see the apexes. And also you're running in a lower gear and that to preserve everything for the long race. And you don't have the same amount of torque to help you handle the car. So it's all, not, all getting used to, but I enjoyed it. Awesome, great fun. Well, then that is a big thing. That is Henny Kronovold in the Sabara. That looks like that's terminal at the moment. That's going to be a pity for him and his championship aspirations. Yeah, double race victory in the sprints and uh, unfortunately parked on the sideline for this one and the safety car is out so now things will change up dramatically uh, steve i tell you something if there's a safety car at this point of the race it's now every man for themselves and i think there's about about four laps to go so uh, watch out for some serious action coming our way look at the bmw going on the inside looking for a way through van Rooyen was leading out as they went into turn one but it's going to be a bmw leading out and that should be roots and if I'm not mistaken, is it the triple one car? Yes, it is. Just picking up on that. But watch out for Faree. He is going for race victory here. Well, team principal of Subaru, Carl Pinar, was relaxed about keeping uh, his cars going around this race circuit. But right now, that's all that, that those good plans that he put in place for their strategy has all really just fallen apart at the moment. Henry Grunewald is going to lose our big time here. But the Dude. man on the charge, Pinard, Pinard. Pinard is sideways out of... Uh, turn two now they come to the toe of the boot and it's Johan Faree hassling him looking for a way through he's got through so Faree's got through Etienne van der Linde has lost out there and Faree now possibly leads on the road so with only a couple of laps to go all of a sudden things have just opened up and we've got a, a sprint race for the final part of this two-hour endurance well that's the other thing I was going to make a point of because uh you know Carl Pinar said you know the way to actually treat this is treat this as three compulsory stops of 13 to 14 laps each so it becomes four sprint races in in essence within the endurance race Changing up all the time, though. You see the BMW sneaking through there, and then the Audi retaking that position. There goes uh, Simon Moss. He's only got one light ablaze there at this stage. And this is where things can get really hair-raising. We are into the night time, big time, as you can see. You can't even see which car is which. It is definitely Johan Faree leading out. There you see the Indy Oil car. And behind him, it's Van der Linde. And then Steven. Oh, and Bonafidi on the sideline, on fire. Cheerleader. <laughs> That's it. Is he doing the wimpy ad? Probably. <laughs> right, so only a couple of laps to go. And oh, there's a tap. Can you believe it? Oh, oh no. Nathan. Another tap there. That's Michelle C. Taking Nathan on. Uh -oh. What are you doing, dude? Oh, man, there's going to be some words between them at the end of the race day. But it's Indy Oil Audi out front. Second place at this stage, just picking up on it. That is the BMW, then it's the Audi, and that's... Uh, no, it's not. It's the second BMW. So Marvel Priest has now stepped up and got ahead of Steven. This is awesome stuff. Can you believe this? We've had nearly two hours of racing, 
and now it comes down to the final lap and two BMWs have got ahead of Michael Stephen. They haven't caught Ferri though. Such a bad break for Gennaro Bonafini with only about a couple of laps to go. Unbelievably bad luck. Yeah, now half a lap to go for these guys. They get onto the back straight away. They're not going to catch Ferri. Can you believe it? First time out and in the endurance format, Johan Ferri is going to take this victory. He's got two corners to do it. Are we going to see BMWs in-house fighting? No, we're not. They're going to go through line of stern and just make sure they keep Michael Stephen and Terry Moss behind them. Fantastic stuff, although you can't hear those BMWs out there, but what a great run by jo Johnny Fury. Magnificent. Oh, an amazing drive from him, and Kursi Swanepoel doing an awesome effort in the car too. Remember, that's his teammate for the day, and the chequered flag is going to be coming out for the Indy Oil Audi S4, and what an awesome drive, and what an awesome format. Man, I want some more of this. Endurance racing for Bridgestone Production Cars has worked well, and for Kisa Freeway has definitely shown that this is what it's all about for the future. Sprint racing and some endurance formats thrown in for the championship. Well done guys i agree with everything you said fantastic here's the celebrations big celebrations for kuzi swanable and yon free the first time out and they take their victory in the endurance format great driving from free and swanable funda linda and roots come through in second place priest and polter in third stephen and moss in fourth and showing that the lebs and the poorest can work together the cunha and orbi Sapuka and Moss coming through in sixth place to cunha and mogado ahead of henny krunavolt and jonathan detoy Results Class T, and it is Michael van Rooyen and Robinson, and of course they win the index performance as well. Dumity and Donker in second. Uh, Graham Nathan down to fifth after having a collision with uh, Marcel Singh, and uh, also Kieran Kwambi in there in the mix. Gary Fumato will not be happy with seven. A completely different scenario, but something that you're definitely going to treasure, I'm sure. Yeah, no, jeez, man, it's, this must go out for all the guys, everybody to put help, everybody to put effort in. It was late night, it was hard work. We grok up here, I can't never turn the wheel. It was a bit of a disaster handling-wise. We got it better every session. We started off three seconds off. I think towards the end we were only 0.4 of the pace. So we definitely improved it. So there's a lot of potential. But I mean, I need to thank everybody from my boys, Dave, John, everybody, Kursi, um, Stephen, just everybody that just helped. That put so much effort in getting this car here. And yeah, um, thanks to Adi for giving us a car. But I mean, it's not perfect yet, but we're going to sort it out. But uh, what a race. What Chris, from your side, buddy, you must have been praying that that safety car was going to go off so that you can have a go at the beer. Yeah, look, I was obviously counting the minutes, and uh, <clears throat> I knew Johannes in with a chance, and uh, how, um, it was amazing. And uh, somebody said, as you got radio, you must tell him he must go. I said, but talking about Johan, he's going to go by himself. And he just proven that, proved that to us, taking five, la five cars, two laps, and to win it out like that with a brand new car without any hassles. I think we all can be very proud. So I don't think you could stay out for that long, buddy, but man, did you prove me wrong. Well, it was uh, actually not that tough. Um, I did an hour stint, and my fast co-driver took over, um, got us ahead a little bit further, and I just had to finish off. Quite easily done. Dev, an awesome bit of driving from you, got you right up and into contention. Not only that, put you third overall, bud. Yeah, we had a decent, decent race. Uh, Michael did a, a good first stint came in, did another good stint, and then I took over, did a good stint, and then you finished off, eh? With the double championship points up for grabs in the endurance race, Henny Krunovalt is still leading, but Johan Free, the biggest mover, who gets up to second place ahead of Melville Priest. Michael Stephen dropping down the most, and Anthony Taylor sitting on the sideline must be ruining the day. Looking at Class T, Graham Nathan is still dominating at the moment, but he was hurt big this round. Gary Fumato making a charge as well. Gennaro Bonafidi in, in the top three, and Michael Van Rooyen, the big mover.